Whoa. Looks like the battle here was intense. The Master Diviner must have launched the campaign while we were delayed in the Artisanship Commission. Time is of the essence. The most important task for the Sienjo La Fu is suppressing the Stellaron. General Jing Yuan tasked the Master Diviner with commanding the Cloud Knights. He would have known she'd act on the results of her divination. Thank goodness the General didn't make us go with the Knights. Fighting is totally different from adventuring. All these people... It's tough to bear. I'm afraid this is nothing, Benefactor. Centuries ago, an Emanator of Abundance besieged the Lafu with the aim of taking the Ambrosial Arbor. They destroyed half our Delves and killed most of the Cloud Knights. For long-life species, such events are more like yesterday's memories than ancient history. This awful spectacle is child's play in comparison. Hey, is that supposed to make us feel better? It's hard to tell if the Master Diviner won or lost here. I can't see many Cloud Knights. The Sienjo must have fought well. Not necessarily. There'd usually be a base with supporting forces set up after a successful engagement, but we don't see any of that. Let's look around and see if we can find some clues. Be careful. Those monsters are pretty tough. not the knights. What is your purpose here? It's dangerous. We're reinforcements sent by the general. Where's everyone else? <laughs> Resorting to short life species as reinforcements. <laughs> Jing Yuan is truly running out of options. <laughs> Run! She's a disciple of Sanctus Medicus! Silence! If my healing worked, you'll become one of us. And then it's not just me they'll be running from. Hurry! Leave here! I can't control myself anymore! <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. Favor the vigor of God. You have the worst luck running into me. We're just having fun. <laughs> Let's go. Broken! What 
are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. My turn. We're just having fun. Try this on for size. Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. <laughs> the lives of short life species are so fleetingly brief. Why seek death? Just having fun. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Naughty children, don't miss it. Here comes the medicine. Much better. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh, you want. To portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. This is our chance. Let's go. Better up. Try that again. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Time for a shot. I owe you one. Why did you come to the Sienjo? To seek immortality? You don't have to appease Jing Yuan. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus can provide all that you desire. The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. You have the 
worse luck running into me. We're just having fun. <laughs> This is our chance. You're in bad shape. Just having fun. Try it this on for size. <laughs> Just a scratch. What about this? Uh, rules are made to be broken. Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I owe you one. Favor the vigor of This is our huh. naughty nap time. My turn. Sip. <laughs> Time. They've converted me. I don't have much longer. Go! The Master Diviner's troops are ahead. Let's go. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus were in hiding for so long. Now they finally show their face. Did the Master Diviner fail to foresee this? Be careful, benefactors. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus worship Yaoshu, the Plague's author, the greatest enemy of the Xianzhou. The Alliance has been trying to root out their secret organization for millennia. It's no coincidence that they've chosen this moment to reveal themselves. Keep at it. Keep at it. <laughs> uh. 
What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I told you I could fight. Watch this! <laughs> Let's go. What about this? <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of oh, You're ouch. annoying! Uh, rules are made to be broken! Just having fun! <laughs> this is our chance. Yeah! Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! We're just having fun! Try this on for size! What are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Let's make it quick. What about this? our chance. Side. What about this? Favor the vigor of life. My turn. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Huh. 
This is better up. <laughs> You're in bad shape. Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. What? what are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Try this on for size! This is our chance. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Running into me. Simple Koski. <laughs> To portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present. Sounds like more busy. <laughs> Let's go. Figure out. What this are you waiting chance. for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. 
about this! Rainbow's blessing. You're not disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Uh, stop moving around. Let's see if there's a way to help you recover faster. Come on, take this. It'll help with your injuries. Thank you, all of you. I feel much better now. Thank goodness you're here. The garrison is up ahead. Are you heading there now? I'll wait there for you. Just having fun. Try this on for size. This is our chance. <laughs> That'll take favor the vigor of. Betray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. This is our chance. What about this? Naughty children now. Having fun. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Time favor the vigor. Uh, rules are made to be broken.
just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I owe you one. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> Let's go. Huh. Naughty, you're in that shape. Like more business knocking. You couldn't have done it without me. goes there show yourselves wait it's you quickly in here it's dangerous outside you recognize us are you not the general's guests the master diviner prophesized your arrival we were ordered to wait for you under any circumstances yes the master diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to scout ahead they're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. The troops are anxious. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner returns. That the Cloud Knights received orders not to advance is a bad sign. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I've heard the name before. If memory serves, they're an underground sect of the Abundance that's said to have lain dormant within the Sienjo, plotting to overthrow the Alliance. The Stellaron has certainly caused Abundance-like abnormalities. Is that what motivated the Disciples to come out of the Shadows? No. The Knight's main force remains intact. Something must have happened. Something we're not aware of. The Master Diviner isn't here. Let's head into camp and see what we can learn from the troops here. Good idea. Why don't you take a look around, Benefactors? My feet need a rest. Have you talked with these disciples, Benefactor? What do you make of them? Why would they betray the Lafu? I don't understand. It was so close. So close. Even seasoned soldiers. Soldiers of three centuries were turned into twisted beings. I was almost, almost. Knights undergo such thorough training. How 
could they lose control like this? It's one thing for humans to be stricken with Mara, but Foxians and Vidyatara? Myself become thunder, become a storm. That set in the elixir crucible, I could smell the future. Mere flesh will not trap me. I am the ebon deer. I see the leaves and branches covering the sky. I will change again. We captured a few devils from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Some of them are already mad, and this one is the maddest. I just felt there were enemies all around me. I only felt hatred. I wanted to kill everything in my path. You want to ask questions? Uh, uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to be recorded as testimony. Finally, someone to talk to. These Cloud Knights are so serious, so boring. <laughs> that shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into it, there's a voice inside that speaks to you. Do you still remember Cocolia? Um... <laughs> The Master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species, yet the Arbor showed no signs of resurrection. But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an Eon can recreate the miracle. Yes. Yes, the mighty Sanctus Medicus! The Abundance! So, you witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection! <laughs> Magnificent! In the Befall era, so far in the past that even long-life species cannot recall, Sanctus Medicus, the Abundance, gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lofu. With that sacred tree, Humanity realized many miracles. The fallow earth, the western soapberry, the altered flesh. But that devilish archer ruined everything. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus' achievements. But soon, soon we will return to the glory of the Befall Era. <laughs> You've seen the fantastic creatures that fought with us. They are only minor gifts of the Ambrosial Arbor. Shut it, rambling rodent. The Cloud Knights will root all of you out soon. What did we do? We cured our kin. <laughs> it must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. You scum! If the Order allowed, I would cut you down now. Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Mara struck? Bah! It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus to eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence, a life of true freedom. I see a desire for power in your eyes. This life is too short for you, isn't it? <laughs> I can. 
I can help you. Don't listen. His words are poison. We're just having fun, sir. <laughs> Without the blessing of the abundance, you short life species would never be able to endure the transformation. Have you talked with these disciples, Benefactor? What do you make of them? Shh. That's a brave thing to say out in the open. If the Cloud Knights hear you, they won't think twice. <laughs> it strikes me that you'd use any means to achieve your goal, Benefactor. Xianzhou natives are more afraid of immortality than they are of the days coming to an end. They received eternal life as they had desired, but are doomed to a fate more terrifying than death. The Abundance played a cruel trick on them. What does it mean? We probably need to present it with a command for it to act. <sighs> Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. There's no time for idle chat. We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, those who worshipped the Plague's author. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Then, after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Curse it. What Sanctus Medicus sorcery did they use on us? The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Mara-struck form around others. To do so means that we have given up on being human, lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood, and violated the Rainbow's admonishments. What the disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. I swear to the Arbiter. I will avenge my comrades. Master Diviner, you're back. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the Disciples is laid bare to me now. Apologies. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples had remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait... What's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? Sharp as always. I knew we'd spent too long around the Master Diviner. Now we're predicting the future. Oh, let me guess. What are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? 
Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting. So there. <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Not? Jing Yuan's orders. He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head on. Now it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Law Fu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Xianzhou natives into long-life species. The op but in the end, the alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the crucibles never ceases, this place was named Evenest Mansion. An elegant name. But as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mora struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one could know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knights' first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop the smoke. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. Indeed, this demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the La Fu, and the Sien Zhou Alliance has always been fiercely independent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. One step at a time. I do not wish to be their puppet either. In any case, we do not walk alone and unhindered on our paths. Our choices define us and influence others. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the La Fu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? Ah, <sighs> fine. I didn't hear a please, but seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here, 
Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. not too late to practice holding my breath. We're still far from the Elixir Crucibles. I'm no healer, but I do know that dosage is important in the application of poisons. <laughs> Even so... Okay, I admit it. I'm terrified. I'm still young. I don't want to become Marastruck so soon. the question. Jingyuan gave me authority over the Cloud Knights. If I can't stand on the front lines, then how can I succeed him as a general? <clears throat> how can I win the hearts of the people? Do you not trust me? <clears throat> if I told you I wasn't certain, would you turn back on the spot? Nonsense! I'm very certain. 100%. Though, I'm sure a little reassurance wouldn't hurt. You don't know what being Marastruck actually means, do you? The healers believe that the Marastruck condition is related to memories. Unsurprisingly, long-life species have long lifespans, but there is a limit to the brain's capacity. After centuries and millennia, a long-life species' emotional threshold becomes higher and higher. Simultaneously, their memories fade and become dull under the erosion of time leaving behind only the most extreme and vivid recollections, which are almost guaranteed to be memories full of anguish and regret. Do you understand now? The fate of all long-life species is to no longer feel joy and happiness, left only with hatred and regret etched into the heart. Under such extreme conditions, a person's ego starts to crumble. And that is the beginning of the Marastruck condition. Short-life species don't need to worry about this. Feel better? Phew, I do. I never had memories to begin with. No, you still don't understand. The condition isn't caused by memories, but by the emotional threshold having been... Never mind. You can regard it as a memory issue. Only a handful of converted alchemists and healers. They can drive fantastic creatures into battle, and strengthen their bodies with medicinal pellets. But they are no match for the Cloud Knights. That's why they decided to spread this demonic vapor. There is a gulf in strength between us, yet they still emerged into the open and rebelled. Something isn't right. They must be waiting for some shift in fortune. I will come at once when the Crucibles are doused and the smoke dissipates. <sighs> Huh. I feel like even though long-life species get to live forever... They aren't so different from us short-life species when it comes to worries and suffering. You're too close to the Crucible! Thank you for the concern, but I'm fine. The General commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Tingyun. Go back. We can explain to the General. <laughs> There's really no need. I've spent my years traveling the universe. Not to mention, I'm younger and stronger than I look. Even you benefactors have probably lived longer than me. Seems like the smoke is getting thinner. Not thin enough. We need to hurry. Like running. 
turning into me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. You're in bad shape. What are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Uh, rules are made to be broken! I could fight. Watch this! Sounds like more business knocking. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Freeze! I told you I could fight. <laughs> We're just half trying this on for size. <laughs> Time for a You're in bad shape. Check out this awesome move! Simple heat! <laughs> Let's go. How about this? Now. What are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Ooh, out! I told you I could fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah! Naughty children, don't listen. You're in bad shape.
have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Try this on for size! What about this? Uh, rules are made to be broken! Savor the vigor of life. I'm okay. All better now? <laughs> Let's go. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Are you doing this on purpose? We're just having fun. <laughs> Let's make it quick. How about this? <laughs> You're in bad shape. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Time for a shot. Favor the vigor. Watch this. Try this on for size. <laughs> This is our chance. You couldn't have done it without me. Yay, we did it! Oh, can't see the smoke anymore. <sighs> Excellent. I'll lead my troops to the rendezvous. succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. Unimportant. The inevitable is already upon us. Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity as chief alchemist, master diviner. You don't seem surprised. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. 
We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron's spirits into the Sienjo, resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor, striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long-life species. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjolafu like a living creature. We controlled the Stellar Seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial, and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sienjo ships. What a glorious time that was. How far the Sienjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now... We now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our C and Joe ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter, laid waste to the Arbor, and establish the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sea and Joe. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death. Your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the Celestials are capable of. Just a little thing. <laughs> Think nothing of it. What? <laughs> With me out here, how can we lose? What are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Savor the vigor. Uh. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Huh. I told you I could fight. We're just having fun. Rules are made to be broken. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Merciful Medicus, 
Hear my call! To portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Business knocking. Try this on for size. Let's go. Better up. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Thanks a lot. You can't run! Yeah, you can hurt again. Simple Koski. <laughs> What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Make it quick. Ha! Naughty children, don't listen. Here comes the medicine. I owe you one. Watch this! Try this on for size! Ah! 
To portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Let's go. Better up! Naughty children, don't listen. All better now? I owe you one. Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly! Little pawn, must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loath to flout my philosophy of destruction. <laughs> Never mind. It would seem the time has come for other means of dismantling the Xianzhou from within. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> you received the gift of abundance. Surely you can withstand the blessing. Destruction. Mr. Yud! <laughs> uh -huh. allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Lord Ravager Vantilia. I have come with a single purpose to set in motion the self destruction of the Sienja. Have 
Master of the Antimatter Legion? But uh, how can that be? Keep calm, all of you. This is a formidable enemy. We have to stay together. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Naughty children, don't let you're in bad shape. Take more. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I owe you one. Savor the vigor. You're annoying! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Told ya I could fight. Watch this. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Time for a shot. Here comes the medicine. Oh, thanks a lot! With me out here, how can we lose? Try this on for size! Let's get better up! Not now. Side. What about this? <laughs> That'll take more than favor the vigor. <laughs> Let's ha. You are fortunate that Zephyr and Selenova never set their gaze upon the sea. They have no qualms about dealing out destruction by the way. But since that stubborn general of yours has forced me to take center stage, I'll make sure I steal the show. <laughs> My apologies for leaving so soon, but I have an appointment to keep. I'm sure my friends here will be happy to entertain you. Well, you gotta make it worth my while. With me out here, how can we lose? Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Sounds like more business now. <laughs>
turn. Stay right there while I give you a present! Try this on for size! This is our chance. Batter up! <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of it. You have the worst luck running into me! <laughs> what are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Let's make it quick. What about this? <laughs> I owe you one. <laughs> Try this on for size. Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken! With me out here, how can we lose? Next time. <laughs> Make it quick. Better up. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. <laughs> You're in bad shape. The flame we witnessed claimed to be Lord Ravager Fantilia, a name I've heard other nameless speak of in the past. She's one of seven Lord Ravagers who serve Nanook, and finds pleasure in witnessing the self-destruction of mortals. She's led countless souls down a dark and hopeless path. Meaning that Ting Yun had long since fallen under the Lord Ravager's influence? I don't believe so. Fantilia revels in watching a corrupted mind eating away its host from inside out until the obliteration of both is achieved. But. There was no indication that Ting Yun had been misguided or manipulated. It's possible that the Ting Yun we knew wasn't her true self, but an image Fantilia devised to serve her own purposes. You're saying that the real Ting Yun is still. I'm sorry, Marge. I can't say with any certainty where the real Ting Yun may be, or at what point she was replaced by the imposter. Without knowing where the body vanished to, it'll be tough to get an answer. At this point, it's all just conjecture and hope. But if that body belonged to the real Ting Yun, it does raise the question of why Fantilia would go to such lengths to destroy any evidence of her. 
Wouldn't it be more in line with her destructive nature to leave Ting Yun's remains behind as a, a display of power? I believe this to be Fantilia's goal, to sow seeds of doubt among us and ensnare us in a malevolent trap. It's clear that the sudden resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is all connected to the Lord Ravager. Pretending to be a San Zhou citizen? Planting a stellar rom in the La Fu? All part of her plan to bring about our self-destruction. Fantilia is aiming for the Ambrosial Arbor. If she succeeds, the Lo Fu will be deprived of its roots, making its destruction all too easy. We must stop her. We need to take a star skiff to scale Gorge Waterscape. The Ambrosial Arbor can be sealed from that self. Let's make haste. That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. What worries me more is... just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. It all happened so suddenly. But looking back, I think Mr. Yang was right. Ting Yun was behaving strangely. She was fascinated with the Abundance's creations. Since she was an Amicaster dispatched by the Skyfaring Commission, it's evident that there must indeed be a person with her name in the Commission. We'll have to let the Cloud Knights get to the bottom of what happened to the real Ting Yun. As for the Ting Yun who accompanied us all that way, it's like what Mr. Yang said. Her appearance was designed to sow seeds of doubt among us. We cannot allow ourselves to fall into her trap. It is a delve governed by the Vidyatara. Supposedly an ancient oceanic region transferred from the Vidyatara home planet. After the Ambrosial Arbor was broken in two during the war, its roots were left gnarled and broken. Yet it never died. The Alliance decided to seal the arbor within Scale Gorge Waterscape, entrust it to the High Elders of the Vidyatara, and rely on the power of Long Scions to constrain it. It has been so long. No one knows whether the seal remains. Even if it does, I doubt it will hinder that Spectral Lord Ravager. I've reported the current situation to the Seat of Divine Foresight. He made no further contact after we communicated at the Matrix of Prescience. He said he had important matters to personally attend to. The situation stands on the edge of a precipice. We must trust in the General. 